So let's actually see how this name entity recognition actually works. All right. So um, normally when we read a test, right, we naturally recognize the entities in it. Okay. So as humans, it's, it's quite easier to do it, right? Recognize the entities like say people, the values, location, and so on in the, the in our test or in our document. It's very, very easier for humans to do, right? So for instance, if you have a sentence like this, uh, Mark Zuckerberg is one of the founders of Facebook, a company from the United States. So if this is the sentence that we have, okay, if this, um, this entire thing is the sentence that we have, as humans, we can see that this is a name, right? This is a name, right? And then we can easily extract it, right? This is a company, right? We can easily extract that, right? This is um, a place, our location, right? We can easily do that, okay? Now, for the computer to do that, we need to give it the power of natural language processing to do that, okay? What it's going to do is that it has to st study the structure and then the rules of the language, right? And then create intelligent systems which are capable of deriving meaning from the test, just like we are um, doing as humans, okay? All right, so um, in order for this natural language processing technique, which is the name entity recognition model to actually identify the name entities, it has to detect the word, right? Or the string, right? Of words that, are, that form the entity. Okay, so for instance, new and then York and then city. Okay, it has to identify that, okay, when new and York and city comes together, it, it's a name of a place. Okay, and then it will know which entity category to put this one okay so it is going to put this one as a location okay as a location so it has to actually identify how the structure and um the rules of the language is right because identify identifying um name entities in english is gonna be different from identifying name entities in say french okay or identifying name entities in say hindi okay in say Hindi, it's, it's going to, it's totally different, right? It's, it's totally different. So, or maybe in Spanish, right? In Spanish, it's, it's also different. So how you identify name entities in Spanish is different from how you identify name entities in English or how you identify name entities in Hindi or in, in French, okay? So your natural language um, processing technique, which is the name entity recognition model, needs to study the structure and the rules of the language, right? In order to be able to do that, all right? Okay, so first, what we do is that we need to um, create some sort of an entity categories, right? For instance, name, location, event, organization, and so on. And then we feed this name entity model, right? With this uh, relevant training model, okay? Training data, so that it will get to understand that, okay, this is what I am supposed to learn from, okay? So if it is um, English, then you feed it with that English English name entities, okay? If it is French, you fill it with a French name entity so that you learn from the structure and then the pattern so that you'll be able to do that, okay? Then by tagging some of the word and then phrases samples with the uh, corresponding entities, then the model is gradually, right, or eventually going to detect the entities by itself, okay? So first, it has to learn from something, right? So it's, it's more like a supervised machine learning, um, I mean, algorithm or supervised machine learning model. Okay. All right. So we actually going to see, um, I a, mean, a, a practical applications of this one of this name entity, uh, recognition. All 